All right. Well, my family is still out of town, so uh, tonight I have a friend coming over, and I went out. I was in the mood for fish, so I've purchased a uh, Gulf Coast Red Snapper, fresh, probably a day or two old, no more. And I'm going to create a uh, very quick uh, paste marinade for it. I've put some uh, green onions. I'm going to add some uh, olive oil unfiltered. I like the way it tastes. Some fresh thyme. Some flaked red peppers from a Thai restaurant the other night. A turmeric root. They're kind of hard to find, but I think they have a good flavor. Some capers. I like a little of salt juice in there. It's probably not proper. And then we got some minced, clean minced garlic. About two big forkfuls of that. Can't really uh, do this wrong. Oh yeah, a dash of rosemary. We're kind of going for a Maybe a bit of a Mediterranean. A little extra spice. And the turmeric. So maybe Indian Mediterranean. While that's going, I'm going to go ahead and uh, Slices and fish. I'm going to cut down almost to the bone. And then the slices or slits, I'm going to uh, I'm going to put some of this paste. I'm going to sharpen that. Scales coming off this fish for 30 minutes. If you can buy a pre pre uh, scale, that's the way to go. So we're lucky here in Texas. We have really good fresh seafood. It goes good. I think we're gonna pair this with a uh, bubbly wine from. Uh, William Chris tonight. I can never remember the name of it, so I'll wait and tell you. It's about 98 degrees outside, so it's something that's going to be refreshing, light, and then we've got about three pounds of shrimp to go with this as well. All right. I feel like I haven't used this before. Alright, so this is what that sauce came out looking like. It's a uh, really smells wonderful. I'm gonna stuff these slits. Half this stuff drips out, so after we do this, I'll put some more on it. I can also put it up in the mouth and head, too, for those of you who like to uh, partake in the head cavity. It's really good. Uh, the meat around the cheekbones and uh, gills, not the gills, but the meat around them is really good. You can actually take that head apart. And many restaurants in the Austin area are serving that as a uh, as an appetizer. We're gonna do the same. Oh, 
these guys have big teeth. Break on artists. Let's see if we can get some in through the grip gills. Yeah. Okay. This good tasting stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and kind of just wipe this all over the fish and then let it set for a while and we'll be good to go. So turmeric, rosemary, capers, uh, olive oil, and then we'll squirt some uh, lemon oil, lemon juice or lime juice on it right before we cook it. You don't want to let it set too long in citrus because that'll turn it into ceviche. All right, 